guy that was prepping the parking lot for the chip seal was throwing water down, saw the smoke, gave, came over in his county water truck and sprayed the heck out of it. I mean, it had left across 101, was over here. You can walk out and see the black yeah, on yeah. the grass. And he, he, he were here too, yeah. he put it out. So because of, you know, just quick thinking and, you know, yeah, I better get over there instead of, well, I'm doing my job. I'm right. just gonna continue yeah, it was like the carpet office. bombing in that fire when he drove through. You open up the valve on the side of that truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I oh, came right. back and did it again. Yeah, yeah. So, several times. We were yeah. the, the thing that I, that absolutely astounded us uh, is, you know, and of course you explained it to me because you had a firefighting background. But they were all fighting the fire on the 101 side. The winds are blowing this direction. You know, probably 15, 18 knot winds, fairly stout. Huh? So the fire starts on the other side of 101, jumps 101, hits the arsenal property, came straight across that, went right through the fence, and started on our property and started going up a tree. And if you, when you leave here today, just step out and look out over that direction where that tree is at in the darkened area. And what's right above that tree is all of our power lines for this building and our facilities. Right. So had he not come when he did, we would have, and the tree was starting to torch up. It was working its way about halfway up. He just hit it, knocked it down, and then he came back and made a couple more passes. And had he not done that, we probably would have been without power. 